In our new digital world, our ability to communicate by video has exploded. Today, most of us use video to talk to friends, family, and colleagues on a regular basis. In addition, we often post, share, and view videos on social media. And many of us also engage with video to learn new ideas, like we're doing now. In fact, many of the most innovative companies are video-based, including Netflix, YouTube, and Coursera. One of the most interesting video companies to emerge from the digital revolution is GoPro, a manufacturer and marketer of small but sturdy high-definition video cameras. These cameras have been popularized by extreme sports enthusiasts such as surfers, skydivers, and skateboarders. Now, GoPro cameras are often attached to an individual's head, their bike, or their car, and provide a first-person perspective of what that person is seeing, which allows viewers to engage in a vicarious experience. In essence, when you watch a GoPro video, you feel like you were there. Over the past two decades, many GoPro users have shared their videos across a variety of social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Many of these videos have millions of views. Thus, GoPro is a great example of user-generated content. The purpose of this case study is to illustrate and apply the concept of UGC to an actual business. GoPro is an American manufacturer of portable, high-definition video cameras that began in 2002 at the start of the digital revolution. It is based in San Mateo, California, and was founded by Nick Woodman, who currently serves as its CEO. Nick earned a bachelor's degree in visual arts, which is not typical for a CEO, but probably a good fit for a company that specializes in devices that create visual images. Now, in 2004, GoPro introduced its most popular camera, the GoPro Hero. The original Hero was a 35mm camera that could be strapped on your wrist and was capable of taking photos underwater. In 2006, GoPro introduced a video version of the Hero camera, along with a variety of different ways to mount this camera, including car mounts, bike mounts, and helmet mounts. By 2018, GoPro cameras were available in over 100 countries across the world and GoPro had established field offices in both Europe and Asia. Although GoPro is a well-known brand and its products are highly regarded, its financial performance has been less than stellar and it now faces a, a wide variety of competitors in this action camera segment, including Polaroid, Sony, and Xiaomi. Given these challenges, GoPro doesn't have the financial resources to heavily invest in traditional marketing campaigns. Fortunately, thousands of GoPro users are happy to share their videos across a variety of social media platforms. For example, check out this cool GoPro video of sea turtles by a group called YBS Youngbloods. In essence, GoPro has been able to leverage the power of UGC to help build awareness and interest in its products. Here's a brief overview of the key parts of its UGC strategy. First, distribute UGC via social media. Since many GoPro users are quite willing to create and share these type of videos, GoPro is able to benefit from UGC without doing much work. However, in 2010, it decided to make UGC a strategic priority and began to incorporate user videos as a key part of its promotional strategy. One essential element of the strategy is promoting user contributions through its social media platforms, especially through its YouTube channel, 
which currently has over 8 million subscribers and contains hundreds of exciting videos. Some of these videos are traditional UGC created solely by everyday users like you and me, while others are videos produced in cooperation with a variety of social media influencers and extreme sports stars. For example, Sean White, the famous American snowboarder and skateboarder, is a frequent GoPro contributor. Second, host UGC contest. In addition to actively sharing user videos via social media, GoPro also tries to encourage UGC by hosting a variety of video contests, like its famous Million Dollar Challenge, in which users contribute short videos with the opportunity to win a share of a million dollar prize. Once a year, GoPro also gives out GoPro awards to its top contributors. It also showcases its winners on its social media sites and frequently provides tangible awards, including free GoPro devices. Now, these contests help GoPro attract thousands of video submissions each year. Users can easily enter these contests through a portal on GoPro's website. Third, help users create content. In order to help its users create content, GoPro provides a number of useful tips to potential contributors on its website and also offers a free music library that potential contributors can use to add a soundtrack to their videos. Now, as you can see, GoPro actively cultivates and strategically leverages UGC as a key element of its promotional efforts. I'd like you to carefully consider this strategy and focus on three key questions in particular. First, what are the secrets behind the success of GoPro's UGC strategy? Second, what lessons can other firms learn from GoPro's strategy? And third, how could GoPro improve its UGC strategy. Well, I hope you enjoy working on this case. I look forward to seeing your ideas. Thanks for sticking around. Here is your bonus fact. GoPro's CEO, Nick Woodman, raised money for his company by selling beads and shells out of the back of an old Volkswagen bus. Peace, man. Good luck with the case.